What's up, YouTube? It's Yadi. I know that talks to the react to another video. We got Big Scar Grim Reaper of Memphis. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. Let's get into it. Big man. Scar is one of the most promising up and coming rappers signed to Gucci Mane's 1017 label. But his come up was far from show. easy and he had to survive. Hey, no cow. Right. When Pooh Shots got locked, if it is. If Gucci ain't had signed scars, 1017 would've been over with. Be for right. rival gangs, a shooting that took his appendix, and a car accident that almost took his life. Damn. Let's get into the career and come up of oh, Big Scar. Man, yo, yo, you ain't even get the goddamn, get the inflation on the appendix. Big Scar was born and raised yeah, in Magnolia neighborhood of South Memphis, and he's also Pooh Shiesty's older cousin, another Memphis rapper signed to 1017. South Memphis is a... Scar just turned 21, Pooh Shiesty older than him. Wild city, known for drugs and crime, and has damn near every major gang in the city. Big Scar had a big family with nine siblings and had a heart growing up. He lived with his grandmother until she died from lung cancer when he was nine years old. After that, he moved in with his dad, who taught him how to survive in the wild city of Memphis. His pops was in the streets, but was still around to raise his kids and take care of the family the best he could. Scar says that his father, father taught him how to be a man, including his discipline and hard work ethic. After moving in with his father, Big Scar was exposed to the streets. He dropped out of high school in the 10th grade and got put on the Grape Street Crips at 15. Grape Street started in the Watts section of Los Angeles, but they branched out to Memphis and is now one of the deadliest Damn. gangs in the city. Memphis rappers Blockboy JB and NLE Choppa also claim Grape Street. Big Scar joined a smaller clique called Trula Mafia, but later left to start his own crew called Double R, which stands for Rich and Ruthless, and he started beefing with some of his own homies. This beef would cost him many friends, and the rapper said he lost almost a dozen close people before the age of 21. When he was 16, Big Scar... A dozen close people, boy. Hell no, nah, I can't even, boy. Scar got into a head-on collision that, that almost took his life. He was driving a stolen whip with two of his homies from Double R. He tried to speed through a traffic light that was turning red. The car going in the other direction was trying to do the same, but was making a turn, and neither saw each other coming. They crashed into each other, and Big Scar went through the windshield. He ended up spending Damn. several days in the hospital recovering, and came out with scars on his eyes, nose, and face. But the scars only increased his street cred and helped inspire his future rap name, Big Scar. At first, People called him Scarface, but when he decided to start rapping, he changed it to Big Scar. Growing up, he never dreamed of being a rapper, but one of his boys from Double R, Baby K, started making music. Scar appeared in the videos as a hype man. Eventually, he decided to try rapping himself because he was already living the life most. See, bro, that shit, your passion to find you, bro. You may be doing some shit, but then it will take it will take you not noticing some shit, and that shit gonna find your ass when you when you just think shit lost. Find Let's talk about in their music. He was inspired by artists like Lil Boosie and Kodak Black to make authentic street anthems about the struggle of coming up in his hood. He said that at a certain point, he did everything he could do in the streets and wanted more out of life. So he hopped in the booth to try to find a legal way to make money. He dropped his first official track, Make a Play, in December 2019. The song yeah, I'm gonna get in the street, man. I can't, but I'm trying to need some money, nigga. Like this video. He blew up man. almost immediately after Polish YouTuber Shit. Tommy Craze reacted to the money, music nigga. video. Tommy Craze is a YouTuber with over 2.8 million subscribers who reacts to rap videos. He has a segment where he reviews videos with zero views and gives his opinion on the track. Lil Loaded is another artist he reacted to and helped his song Block Baby blow up overnight. He ended up coming across Big Scar's track, Make a Play, and gave it a very positive reaction, calling it a future classic. This helped the song go viral and make it the banger that Tommy Craze said it would be. So Big Scar basically blew up from one track and started attracting the attention of different A&Rs from record labels, including Gucci Mane. Gucci was shown the track by Pooh Shiesty, Big Scar's blood cousin. By that time, the video had already racked up over a million views, and Gucci was so impressed, he wanted to meet with Big Scar ASAP. Not long after, Big Scar flew out to Atlanta, and while he was there, he signed a deal with 1017. In an interview, Big Scar said that part of the reason he decided to sign to Gucci was because Guwap was his mom's favorite rapper. He said, ain't no question, Guwap is a legend. He's my mama's favorite rapper. We used to ride around in the car yes, listening yes. to him. It's crazy, I'm signed to him now. Big Scar then joined his cousin, Pooh Shiesty, and another brand new 1017 signee, Bugiano, on the track So Icy Boys. The song will be featured on the compilation crazy. project. That nigga should've stopped with them. He didn't need the rest of them niggas. He should've stopped with them boys, and that should've been it. Nah, he got other niggas dropping niggas. Like, nigga, just stop with them niggas. So Icy right Summer, there. which dropped in July 2020. The project revealed the new 1017 roster to fans and confirmed that Big Scar was one of the label's newest rappers. But just because he blew up overnight, don't mean that everything came easy. In 2020, the rapper almost lost his life for a second time after getting shot and going through major surgery. Scar was back in Memphis, chilling in his hood, when he was ambushed by the ops and shot. He was hitting the hip, but because he was moving to get away from the shooter, the bullet ended up going into his lung. The doctors had to cut him open through his stomach to get the bullet out. 
but Damn. that messed up his intestines and they had to remove his appendix so he could walk again. After they sewed him up, it left another huge scar across his stomach, but he bounced back quicker than he expected and only took two or three weeks to recover. It's not clear who shot Big Scar, but many think it was part of the beef between his Double R clique and Trula Mafia. The beef first started after Big Scar split off to form Double R, but it really got serious after a Grape Street Crip named BG was killed. BG had problems with one of Trula Mafia's main shooters, C-Mode, and they started beefing online. BG eventually ended Damn. up dead, and one of C-Mode's homies, a Trula Mafia member named Go Crazy, was later arrested for the murder. This kicked off a bloody war between the two gangs that continues to this day. Not long before Big Scar was shot, he had got into it on Facebook with a Trula Mafia member named D-Money. Scar called him the police and told him to stop cloud chasing. D-Money responded by reminding him that they used to be Trula Mafia and that Double R wants to be just like them. A few days later, D-Money was murdered. The rumors are that Double R was behind it and he got chipped for getting that big scar and for dissing their friend, 23, Damn. who was also allegedly killed by Trula Mafia. Talk one day you dead the next, well, yeah. that's your fuck. A few months later, Big Scar got shot and almost lost his life, which is said to have been retaliation for the death of D-Money and other Trula Mafia members. But Big Scar ain't let the shooting stop his grind. Not long after getting out of the hospital, Scar got the call from Gucci and decided to put on a bandage and fly out to Atlanta to sign with 1017, even though he was still recovering. But the rapper wasn't about to let anything come between him and his bread, so he did what he had to do. He also filmed a music video for So Icy Boys while he was bandaged up, showing his dedication to becoming a full-time rapper. Shit. He dropped the track Frozone later that year and appeared on So Icy Boys Part 2 along with Pooh Shiesty, Fujiano, and Tay Keith. He followed up with the single I Would Keep Going in February 2021 then Trap House in March. He dropped his debut project Big Grim Reaper so on April 16, 2021 which features Pooh Shiesty, Baby K, Gucci Mane, and Fujiano. It sold about 22,000 albums and peaked at number 25 on the Billboard 200. It looks like Big Scar is on his way Damn, to doing big things in the music industry yeah, as long as he can stay focused and out of trouble. His cousin Pooh Shiesty wasn't so lucky and got caught up in a Fed case that could put him behind bars Pretty for the next cool. few years. In October, Pooh pled guilty to an armed robbery case in Florida after one of his co-defendants also pled guilty. He ain't been sentenced yet, but he's looking at doing between 5 to 10 years in prison. So, with Pooh possibly sitting down the next few years, Big Scar is in a good position to step up and become one of the top artists on a 1017 roster. He has a lot of momentum and popularity, even though he's only been rapping for about two years. But only time will tell if he'll step up to the plate and become a star or just another rapper who couldn't fully transition out of the streets. Mm. But that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. And you already know I'll praise the most high. Amen.